Attachment or adsorption. A virus uses specific proteins on its coat to recognize and attach to specific receptors on a cell surface, the plasma membrane. These receptors may be proteins or other components that are located only on certain cells. In effect, a virus may be able to attach only to a liver cell or to a lung cell and to no other cell of the host body. This may result in specific disease states, such as hepatitis or pneumonia, caused by viruses that replicate only in liver or lung cells. Viruses are said to have a specific tissue preference, tropism, and in some cases, this is due to tissue-specific receptors. The human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, for example, attaches to a receptor called the CD4 protein. The CD4 protein is found on the surface of certain lymphocytes, white blood cells, that are critical for the vitality of the immune system in humans. By entering into and killing only cells that have the CD4 protein on their surfaces, HIV kills the cells that maintain our ability to protect ourselves from infection, thus causing AIDS. The tropism of HIV is determined by its adsorption to cells with the CD4 receptor. Few other animals contain the CD4 protein on their cell surfaces, so the HIV agent grows only in these animals. Thus, the species limitations of some viruses may be due to the restrictions in their ability to attach to specific cells. Other viruses replicate in many animals, influenza virus, for example, and this too can have profound consequences for the biology of the virus. There are also viruses that can replicate in many tissues or cell types of an animal, which means they use receptors that are found on most cells. Such viruses may cause widely disseminated disease throughout the body of the host. Bacteriophages infect and kill bacteria, which are single-cell organisms. Like all viruses, bacteriophages attach to a specific receptor on the surface of their host cell. Occasionally, a mutation, a change in the genetic information, occurs in the bacterium so that the host cell can no longer synthesize the receptor on its surface. In many cases, this is not detrimental to the bacterial host, which is then resistant to the virus that normally uses the receptor. As might be expected, resistant host cells arise in populations under attack by viruses, and these resistant cells without receptors survive, replicate, and eventually take over as a majority type in the population. In this case, resistance to virus infection is selected for by the presence of a killer virus. But it is not in the best interest of the virus to kill all its host cells, leaving only resistant bacteria. If there are no hosts, there can be no viruses. Some viruses have developed alternative strategies for a live and let live viral life cycle. Others have taken advantage of rare mutations in the virion coat protein, which may permit the virus to attach to a new receptor, even one found in the bacterial cell that was resistant to the original or parent virus. And that is attachment or adsorption. Have a great day.